What's up guys and girls? In this one we have a Hyundai Santa Fe. Sorry about that, it's just squeezing into the car. Uh, as you can see, if we start the vehicle and pop it into reverse, we get parking sensor error or blockage, obviously on the rear. Now we have diagnosed this using a stethoscope. What you basically do with that is you put it in reverse on the stethoscope and you pull it towards the parking sensor and you can hear the ticking. If you can't hear the ticking, then the fault, <coughs> the sensor has failed. You can do it with a screwdriver to your ear, which I have done, works just as well. So we are gonna replace the offside rear parking sensor on this one. So stay with us and we'll get that done now. So just move along to the back of the vehicle. That's the one we are replacing. So you've got two in the central and one on the left. I'm pretty sure you have to remove the rear bumper. We are going to lift the vehicle up just to double check. Because if we can reach it from underneath, it's even better. Even better. So next to the exhaust, just up here, that is the wire. And that is our parking sensor. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with this coming down in my face. But to unplug it, you've got a little tab just here, push that in, pull that off, and then either side of the sensor, we have a tab here and here, which we need to spread outwards, and then the sensor will come through. It does look like the others are manageable as well. We've got one up there. One up there. And then another one just up in there. But luckily, it looks like we've got the easiest one. But before we get too far into it, obviously that is our new sensor. This is the black one. And so that is the part number for the black one. So that is our sensor out. What we had to do is we had to take the outer casing off the multi-plug so we could get a pick under the prong and lift it up because there was that much dirt around it. But it does just clip back together and slide back over. So we're literally just going to plug in our new one and push it up in there. So we've just dropped the vehicle down to the ground, so we're just going to go around and show you the new sensor which is fitted. It literally took me a space of five, ten minutes. So, uh, yeah. Nice easy job for you all to do at home because just check how much they are shall we so because this is a warranty job without being under warranty that's 130 good sensor without VAT so you're, you're looking at like 160 quid for the sensor and now in a garage will probably charge you an hour to fit it but what we're going to do now is just start the vehicle pop it in reverse fire it up pop it in reverse we've got no error which means we've got no sensor playing up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna finish our job cards and then we're gonna find a wall or a car, just sort of reverse up to it, make sure all sensors are triggering. So we've got it in reverse. We're just gonna back up to this car at the car part. So we're just gonna start slowing down. Center is working and the two sides are working. All working as they should, all flagging up. But yeah, that's basically it guys. So that was a 23 plate Santa Fe. Don't know why it failed. You know, it's, it's not my job to strip down the actual part. We have to send them back. Wish I could have made the video longer for you, but it was that simple. So we're just on to our next one. We've got a five year service on a 17 plate Ionic uh, hybrid. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one guys and have a good day.